Hey everyone, this is Kyle with Digital Tutors, and in today's top tip video, I'll be showing all you Softimage users out there how you can quickly and easily access your last used tools and commands within the user interface. Okay, so as a pretty avid Softimage user, uh, one thing that I will say is that I love Softimage. Now, there's a lot of things that I love about Softimage, but I would probably have to say the thing I love most about this application is the way in which you can access your previously used tools and commands within the UI. So anytime we go up to a menu, a button, anything in Softimage to access a tool or command, Softimage remembers the command that we used. So in this case, if I were to go to, let's say, get primitive poly mesh and drop in just a simple cube, okay, Softimage remembers the command sequence that I just went through from this button. So if I were to let's say move this over and now I needed another cube I could now just middle click on this button and anytime I middle click on any button it will uh, remember and reaccess the last command that I accessed from that button so this becomes a really really great way of being able to uh, save a lot of time and save a lot of effort in hunting down a lot of tools and commands that you are going to be accessing time and time again so for example Let's say I have this cube, and I'm going to come in and make an intricate little design off of this. So I'll create a curve, draw a curve by cubic CVs, and we'll pull my camera back from this side view, and come in, draw out my curve. Okay, so we have something like that. Tap my spacebar, go back to my camera view. Okay, now what I can do is uh, come in and grab the polygon from this cube. We'll go to Modify, Poly Mesh, and Extrude Along Curve. Okay, we'll now bring me in with Picking Sequence. I'll grab this curve. There we are. Let's go ahead and maybe increase the number of subdivisions. I'll turn on this uh, Per Knot option. And go to my Transform. Maybe bump down my scaling just a little bit. There we are, so we wind up with something sort of like this. Okay, now let's say I wanted to go about this same process for this other side. Well, what I could do is, let's say, uh, just repeating these commands. Let's go and, from my camera view, I'll just start by jumping to my right view, so I can get back to my side view again. Now, remember, the last command that we accessed from this curve button was this draw cubic by CVs. So now the next time I middle click on this button, it'll jump me immediately to that tool. So now I can come in, draw out another curve instantly without having to go and hunt that menu item down again. Okay, when I'm done, again, just tap my spacebar. Now this uh, process, again, it applies to pretty much every single tool and every button in the Softimage UI. So in this case, uh, you remember, I s jumped from my camera view to my right view. But now, if I come up here and just simply middle click, it jumps me right back to my camera view. If I middle click again, jumps me back to my right view or whichever view I happen to switch this over to. So once again, come in and grab my cube. So press the U key on my keyboard, grab the polygon. And now go back to modify poly mesh. And again, the last command that I use was my extrude along curve. So I can just middle click on this button again to instantly jump back to that command. Okay, and once again, come up and maybe dial up my subdivisions. Come in and adjust these as I see fit. All right, very nice. So uh, this becomes, like I said, a, a very, very useful way to work. If uh, let's say we were to come in and move this over to the side. Now let's say I drop in another cube. Again, just middle click to access the last command that I used. Press the U key on my keyboard, grab a polygon, and once again, let's extrude this polygon along a curve. So just middle click, select my curve. You can see how quickly we can start to repeat a lot of these uh, tools and commands inside of Softimage. 
So bringing that down. Okay, and there we go. Now again, this applies pretty much everywhere in the Softimage UI. So let's say I had an object here, and I wanted to isolate it. So I can go up to my camera icon, isolate selection. Okay, and now my object is isolated. I could work on that, do whatever I need to. Now when I get out of this mode, I can come back, select any other object in my scene, and now the next time I middle click on this camera icon, it remembers the command that I used, which in this case was isolate selection. So again, becomes a very, very quick and easy way to work. Uh, same things apply up to something like uh, this little pull down menu where we can jump between uh, headlight mode, wireframe on shaded, wireframe, and so on. So let's say I turn on this wireframe on shaded. Okay, now I have a wireframe all over my shaded objects, but the next time I middle click, you can see it will toggle that option back off. If I middle click again, it turns it back on for me. Um, and again, there's really almost no end to where we can start to use this. So let's say I come in and tag a few points on this surface. Let's say I wanted uh, my object's pivot point to be in this area. You can see right now my pivot point is way down here, which I really don't want. Uh, probably also need to come in and freeze my operators here. There we are, so that way I can come in, rotate that without any influence from these curves that we extruded along. Uh, so back to the topic at hand, if I were to come in and let's say I wanted to move my pivot point up to this uh, top area here, I could press the T key on my keyboard and tag those points. And now in my transform menu, we could tell Softimage to move the center to the vertices. So now when I go back to object mode, press the C key on my keyboard to jump to my rotate tool. There's my point of rotation. And over here, we can do the exact same thing. So let's say I wanted my pivot point maybe to be over on these tags points. So tag those points, and this time I'll just middle click on the transform menu. Okay, doesn't really look like anything has happened, but now if I tap my spacebar, press the C key, you can see it repeated the last command from that menu. So you can start to see very, very quickly uh, just how useful this becomes, and it uh, is a great, great time-saving feature, especially, like I said, if you are uh, working in a situation or working in a project where maybe you need to access the same uh, tool or the same handful of tools from these different menus time and time again. So thanks for watching, and be sure to check back often for more Digital Tutors Top Tips.